way too good, way too good. You know the happiness, the happy feeling, the feeling good when you're in really good food. Hi guys, I'm Sang Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make spicy eggplant stir fry. I made this for my dinner and I just take a picture and post on Instagram and share it on my Instagram story. And you guys all wanted this recipe so bad. So here it is. Oh, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're totally missing out. Let me tell you, you're totally missing out. Mm -mm. This is really quick and simple. Let's get started. We are going to begin with prepping our vegetables. Chop two cloves of garlic, small dice a quarter of medium-sized onion. It's about two ounces. Slice one red chili. You can use jalapeno or serrano or use red bell pepper for mild version. Two green onions chopped. And finally, let's slice our eggplant. You will need this one Asian eggplant. Usually this large size eggplant is about 10 to 12 ounces and this is how much we need for this recipe. Slice a half in lean rice, cut into half inch thick into half moon shape. If you cannot find this long purple Asian eggplant, no worries. You can actually use any kind of eggplant that you can find at your grocery store, either really small one or like, you know, the, the European or Western style one, the really fat one. Yeah, all of them works. All right, now we are going to hit our wok over high heat. But before the wok is all the way hot, we are just go ahead and start adding one tablespoon of chili oil, chopped garlic, and onion. You can use your favorite chili oil from a grocery store or make homemade chili oil right here from my recipe. Let it keep slowly infuse all the flavor together. When they start sizzling, continuously cook one extra minute. Now add four ounces of ground turkey. You can use any ground meat that you wanna use. Uh, you can use turkey like me, or chicken, pork, beef, or maybe farm tofu for vegetarian option. Break down the turkey with a spatula and cook about two to three minutes or until they are having nice golden edges and about three quarter way cooked through. This is the time to add the eggplant, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of chicken stock, one teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of black pepper. Again, for vegetarian or vegan option, you can use a vegetarian oyster sauce. Yes, actually there is vegetarian oyster sauce, which is, it's really delicious. You can use that and um, vegetable stock instead of a chicken stock and you're good to go. Stir fry all together about three to four minutes or until the eggplant and the turkey is fully cooked. Turn off the heat and stir in the chili and the green onions. Give it a good mix. And that's about it. Now we are ready to transfer to a serving plate. Garnish with some sesame seeds and drizzle some sesame oil. This little touch at the end makes a huge difference. So don't forget to do it, okay? So good. Mm. I used to not an eggplant fan at all. And if eggplant can be this delicious, we know, we know. Mm -hmm. Ha ha! Ooh. Oh! Man! Oh my god! It's so good! Mmm. 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 I'm so lucky to be me. They're able to cook like this. <laughs> Way too good. Way too good. I should stop eating because I have a dinner plan. This is actually a great um, lunch box idea too. Mm. 
you know the happiness, the happy feeling, the feeling good when you're eating really good food. I don't wanna do. I have a dinner plan, but I killed it this. <laughs> if you like my spicy egg plain star fry recipe, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember you can always cook Asian food at your house making it easy and fun. I'm Sungyung Longast and this is Asian at home and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>